Okay, so let's take a brief run through the story and see what it's all about and see you know, if we can make heads or tails on what this is supposed to show us about Sophism and relativism in political philosophy. So we have this creation story, you know, the gods exist, man doesn't exist, Prometheus and Epimetheus are appointed to give out the powers for the beings that populate the world before they bring them out to daylight. Epimetheus assigns the powers, or he convinced Prometheus, and uh, Prometheus, I guess, he was a little bit lazy. He was just supposed to inspect them, and we, they, we, we went through the whole story about he, how Epimetheus assigned pa various powers, you know, to, to offset, you know, various things, you know, gave some strength, like elephants or something, some, some small things, you know, were given wind, wings and the power to fly so they protect themselves because they have small... Others are given claw, claws to defend themselves, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, I sound like the Bronx Zoo now. Okay. Thick hair for insulation, think of moose and elk. You know, hooves for to protect their feet, horses. Some of them are, pay, you know, graze in the pasture, they're herbivores. So, you know, we, they went through the, all the alternatives. They could be fruit eaters from the tree, root eaters, or just, you know, ground stuff. And then the carnivores, some, you know, preyed on other ones, but there were fewer of those than, than the other ones. And what do we find out? Epimetheus and Night, all that bright, and he ends up giving out all the powers before he got to humans. And who notices this? When Prometheus comes to inspect them, he discovers mankind is not given any means for protecting himself. So what does he do to try to make up for it? He sneaks into these the two other guards' workshops and gives, you know, and gives their technical skills and the use of fire that these gods were in charge of to mankind, so they're now able to do something. So they, this led them to develop, you know, family units and cities. Um, but nonetheless, they really, you know, they didn't know how to get along in the cities, and Zeus was worried about the fact that, you know, the humans would be wiped out because they couldn't live in, together in cities, so they, they were out in the wild and the beasts were going to take care of them. So because he was worried about that, he sent Hermes to bring conscious and justice to humans. That is, conscious and justice, these are the things, and also warfare, he mentions, because these are the things that are required to govern a city. Okay, and now we left off, how do you hand out justice and conscious? Because Hermes is not all that clear about it.